This, my dear viewers, is all thanks to you. Behold, the new channel camera. After three years of faithful service, this piece of shit you're looking at right now is getting retired, and this is his replacement. This is a Panasonic HC VX980, a 4K camera, probably not going to be using that, but uh, it's above all a properly mid-end semi-pro camera as compared to the granny filming the grandchildren's thing which you've been watching me through for the past several years. So let's just open this thing up. I have taken the liberty of undoing this to make it a bit easier, but I haven't really had much of a sneak peek despite that. So let's see what we get. Oh, I'm, I've been waiting for this thing. Alright, so, so we get this some kind of sticker thing, talking about 4K, yada yada, it's fantastic I'm sure. And there it is. The Chodle Pact. The box for this thing is tiny compared to my other camera. Well there we have it. Ah, oh, would you look at that. That is so sexy. This is a roughly 700-ish, 750 euro camera. So it's about three times the price of the old one. And I'm expecting performance thereafter. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. it's got a metal tripod mount. Jeez, the one feature I missed. Uh, it's also got an automatic lens cover, so you can't just do do that anymore and forget to open it. Requiring me to set a white balance manually every fucking time I forget it. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have the... Oh, this is the lens hood. Professional. Leica Dikuma. Oh, this feels kind of flimsy, though. Not the greatest quality plastic here. But it's just a lens hood. It's going to be fine. No idea how to put this on, though. Does it have like a thread? I suppose to go on. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look fancy? Doesn't that look professional? Ah. Right, let's find the battery. I want to turn this thing on. We have uh, basic operating instructions because I've already read the manual. Uh, UK charger, since this is from Amazon UK. Yeah, I'm not going to be using this. It's probably a decent quality though. Nice gold plated USB connector there. Looking alright. Might do a tear down of this since I don't use the UK plug. And we have uh HDMI cord. USB cord. We're probably gonna need that for charging quite soon. I think it's just uh, oh no, yeah, it doesn't charge from USB, so this is just for data transfer. Cable and uh, this is the charging cable. As in proper camcorder fashion, it's some evil proprietary thing. Although it does actually use a standard little DC plug. So that's a major step up from uh, the evil proprietary thing which my old one uses. Just look at that piece of shit. It's just a two pole but it's square and uh, can't rotate, always wants to break off. Hence the little loopity loop there to just re remove this train. Ugh, fucking cannon. So this is going to be so much an awesome experience. This connects to that. Oh yeah, that's a lot more ergonomical as well. Just for placement of a plug compared to my old camera. Do not mind that. Do not mind it at all. Alright, battery. Battery. So there's... Uh, Oh yeah, we're getting empty plastic bag. 
this is the accessory shoe, which uh, goes in here. So I can actually mount like a microphone or something to it. Perhaps even a flash, although I don't know how to uh, how it would uh, trigger that since it's just a cold shoe. That's nifty. Might come in handy, although I'm probably going to be using a more proper microphone since this thing actually has a microphone connector. Can you imagine? Proper audio! Proper audio! Not, none of this horrible 250 hertz high pass rubbish we've been having for the past few years. Ah, let's just get the battery in there, see if there's a charge in it. Well, this thing can go to hell. Go away. Free Christmas decorations. Uh, this thing is tiny, gonna need to order a few more of these off of eBay. But here we go. All power up. Do I have power? We have. Ah! Giving us a low battery. It's working! Ah! Just look at that. Oh, I could do that all day. Ah, oh, the, the zoom is so much quieter on this thing. Wow. Can you see the optics? Zip. Zip. Ah, oh, fantastic. I'm going to have to put this on charge. I guess that'll do for an unboxing. Turn off, please. Turn off. Turn off, you did it the last time. Thank you. So, huge thanks to everyone who's been watching this channel for the last couple of years, especially those who've been contributing on Patreon and PayPal. Your support means everything to me, and that is indeed what's made this purchase possible. So, with that, let's just flip into high quality mode. And welcome to high quality mode. So, I've set up a little test here. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out in practice. Uh, but uh, above all, you're probably noticing a bit of a difference in the audio. Surprise, surprise, I have a voice which reaches below 250 fucking hertz. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I've set up the cameras to be pretty much beside each other filming this same somewhat colourful scene and at the moment I've got all my uh, 320 watts worth of T5 studio lights running so we have it extremely bright now, about 3000 lumens on the bench. So I figured we'd just turn the lights off one after another and see what happens. Both cameras should be auto exposing I think one's going to be doing a much better job. So let's go. That's one light off. That's two lights off. That's three lights off. And in a moment we're going to be in pretty much pitch blackness with about seven lumens worth of ambient lighting. And I think both have turned black. So let's just turn on a little light. Right, so we are now uh, justifiably probably shooting Blair Witch Project video uh, because we're being illuminated by one cold, warm white compact fluorescent lamp in my ceiling uh, which uh, provides about 30 lumens uh, when it's cold and rising to about 40 lumens on the bench when it's warm. Now, due to the fact that the tripod mount on my old camera is broken, I can't even see the display on it, but I can see the display on the Panasonic and I can imagine it doing a quite a bit better job because we're actually seeing something. So that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enabling me to purchase some better gear in order to make your viewing experience a bit better and I'll see you in future videos. Cheerio. Hmm. New camera smell is very weak on this one though. Disappointing.